Hey, what's going on? It's Dell on Up Late with Shot and Dell. How are y'all? Trying to try to find the best location, um, which is right here with this fabulous tree behind me. As you can see, I'm uh, well. I you can't see, but I'm on the East Coast, and as you can see, it is nice out here. This is the way I need to come to the East Coast. But I had to log on to Instagram Live because um, I'm responding to Shah's video that she put up, who she responded to the Monique um, rant saying that she uh, was whiteballed by some niggas with no balls, referring to Oprah, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels. Um, you know, some uh, Shaw was asking basically the question that Shaw asked was, um, "What do you think? Do you think it's great to speak out and then wind up with no job because of how previous things have happened?" She mentioned girlfriend. She mentioned uh, Monique. She mentioned other shows where the actors and actresses have spoken out uh, against they feel like uh, against the the wrong that they felt they've been. Um, done and um and then lose the job and you know what as a stand-up comic i can just tell you that um sometimes you gotta say fuck all that and and say what's on your mind on the stage you know the stage is a very different animal it's a very honest animal there's no higher funny than honesty so um you know, you gotta do it. You gotta do it sometimes, and 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 literally get, um, get it off your chest. And if you feel like you've been wronged, what a great place to uh, to bring the situation alive in front of an audience who's also been wronged. I'm sure on whatever their job is, whether it's McDonald's or comedy. You know, we've all feel uh, we've all felt you know like we've been wrong so um i feel like yeah monique i was proud to see her do that because you're not i mean you already been whiteballed so if you're not working anyway what the hell are you saving face for just because it's over tyler perry and lee daniels and first of all you know i, I every time i think about speaking my real feelings and now that i'm in hollywood and everybody knows each other and you know of course I'm not that important so uh, I feel like I could just say whatever but I'm just like how could y'all um, how could y'all blackball her this is a black female um, that has been doing her thing an Oscar winner black female and you know certainly everybody doesn't operate from a from a you know everybody is, is is not correct in their operation everybody is not doing the right thing all the time but you know this is a black female and y'all three are 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 black and you know how could y'all um so anyway monique i got your back girl of course you know i got a special love for monique because she brought me on her show and she was so nice and she said she was gonna do it and she kept her word so yeah um you know i just respect a woman like that and then she still was in the movie after all this black ball white ball situation and now she's still on stage and you know she was funny as ever on stage too and you know one thing about it is i watched the dave chappelle special and dave chappelle was just like um you know uh he he quoted uh well to quote dave chappelle he was like if martin luther king would have had a sneaker deal we would have still been in the back of the bus because you know anytime somebody giving you money they want to control the way you act and the things you talk about and you, you just can't be too militant and and you know and, and and why why can't you speak out against yourself you know against things you feel you've been wrong for you know money doesn't control everybody in everything and you know, it's all about happiness. Monique got her family, her man. Uh, she's still out there doing her thing. And you know what? I admire that shit. I admire the Mo the Moniques and the Dave Chappelle's of the world that don't sit back and um, let money dictate the things that they say and their actions. And they're not hateful people. They're not people that are that they're just like, oh, fuck all white people. They're like, fuck anybody that's trying to do me harm. And um, and I respect that because 
you know, money doesn't control you. It's all about you, your family, your happiness. And yeah, shout out to you, Monique. I'm glad you did get it off your chest, girl, because I know how it feel when you have something on your mind and you want to, you know, you don't want to say it because you just like, ah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want it to come back and haunt me. But then you like, no, I need to say it because I'm on stage. This is my life. This is real. This is what I'm talking about. And if you can't understand what I'm talking about, then huh, kiss my ass. And Monique, pfft, shout out to you, girl. Okay. Over to you, Shy Hayes. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure y'all subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us, share the video. And what do you feel about Monique's response to Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey? Uh, and I still love you, Oprah, uh, Tyler Perry. I love both of y'all. Tyler Perry, you from New Orleans, so you know you need to hit me up. Damn it!